Hey, how we doing, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of Storytime with Miss Noel. And my friends, as always, we've got another fantastic book for us to read this week. So, as always, we better get this thing going. Let me get that drum roll, please. Our story this week is <sighs> Dog Days of School. Oh, Dog Days of School. Let's see here. Our author is Kelly DiPiuco and our Brian Biggs. So let's get going on this great story here. And okay. Charlie did not like going to school. He was tired of practicing his letters. He was tired of drawing pictures. He was tired of trying to explain himself to the teacher. Charlie was even tired of being tired. Oh, man. Do you ever feel like that? Yeah, I feel like that some days. Let's see here. Sunday nights were always hard for Charlie. His stomach did flip-flops and he could not fall asleep. You're lucky you don't have to go to school, Charlie told Norman. Norman rolled over on his back and snored. Oh, look at Norman there. Oh, snoring away. Silly dog. Charlie looked out the window and found the brightest star in the sky. I wish I was a dog, Charlie sighed. Oh, he's wishing he Man, I wish I could be a dog sometimes like Baby Ray. That'd be a good time. On Monday morning, Charlie woke up on the floor. He scratched his ear with his right foot and yawned. Charlie's mother came into the room and patted Norman's head. It's time to get up for school, sleepyhead, she said. Oh my gosh, did his dream come true? Oh man, Norman jumped up from Charlie's bed. He ate breakfast, he brushed his teeth, and then he hurried out the door to catch the bus. Charlie smiled. He rolled over on his back and snored. Ah. Oh man, it does. It looks like it came true. Norman's going to school. Man, I wonder what's going to happen. At school, Norman took Charlie's seat at table two. The children gave Norman a curious look and went back to practicing their letters. Norman practiced his letters too. Oh man, just like you guys practicing your letters at school. Man, oh man. Back at home, Charlie looked out the window and watched the leaves fall. Four hours. And hours. And hours. Look at him just watching the leaves fall. On Tuesday, Norman went to school and made a clay sculpture. And a food pyramid. And he ate birthday cupcakes and took a long, cold drink from the water fountain. Oh, I like doing that, too. Charlie ate dry biscuits and took a long, cold drink Ugh, from the toilet. Ugh, gross. On Wednesday, Norman learned how to play house and kickball and the maracas. Ooh, it even says cha-cha-cha. Oh, look at him rocking out there. Man, oh, man. Charlie learned how to play fetch. Ooh, and how not to. Ooh, a stinky skunk's chasing him. Oh, no. On Thursday, Norman built a house out of blocks and painted a self-portrait and went on a field trip. Oh man, Norman, look at you, it's uh, too. He lived his best life there. Charlie went on a field trip too. Oh man, look, looks like he's at a dog park with all those different dogs. I wonder what's gonna happen there. On Friday, Norman ran into some trouble with scissors and glue. The teacher scolded him for chewing on his pencil and the table and her shoes. What? And he had to sit through a long, awful, boring story about a cat. Ooh, no, not about a cat. Across town, Charlie had to sit through a long, awful, boring day at the dog groomers. Ooh, look at him getting his hair done there. Man. The weekend wasn't much better. Norman tried to play soccer. Oh, look, but he's chasing the squirrel, not the ball. He tried to sit through a movie. Oh, man, he's not really watching. 
And he tried to finish a triple hot fudge banana sundae with extra whipped cream. Ooh, that sounds tasty. Meanwhile, oh no, look at, he's digging in the garden. Oh no. Charlie spent his weekend locked up in the laundry room. Oh no, he might have made a bad choice. By Sunday evening, Charlie had had enough. He tried to write his parents a note, but they couldn't read it. He tried to draw them a picture, but it wasn't very good. He tried to explain to them, I'm not Norman! But his parents only heard, woo, 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 woo. Oh man, bad dog, Charlie said Charlie's mother. And she put him outside in the cold. Oh no, that's not very nice. The wind howled and Charlie shivered. Creepy shadows danced across the lawn. Oh no. Charlie's stomach did flip flops and he could not fall asleep. He looked up at the stars and sniffled. I really wish I was a boy again. Oh man, you guys think he's gonna turn back to a boy? Let's see here. <gasps> On Monday morning, Charlie woke up in his own bed. His mother came into the room and kissed his forehead. Time to get up for school, Charlie, she said. Oh man, it's dream work and like Norman's still there. Charlie jumped out of bed. He got dressed. He ate breakfast. He brushed his teeth. Charlie went to school. And Norman, oh look at Norman, he run into the cheese wagon there. Ho oh, oh. Norman took a very, very long nap. Oh man, and that's our story. Can you imagine if you woke up as a dog? What? Let's see, baby Ray. Come on over here. Come here. Come on over here. What do you think if one day, instead of me coming to school, Baby Ray was our principal for the day. What do you think? Would that be silly? I know Ray would enjoy it. But my friends, until next time, pick up a book, read, 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 and I look forward to reading you another story very soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.